What's going on, Leo? It's Robin here. Thanks for joining me on Aries Fire Tarot today to do your um, January 2022 mid-month tarot card reading. So as per usual, I will be using the Starman tarot card deck, but uh, I'm, I'm doing an intuitive flow here for you guys, so I hope you enjoy. Um, just wanted you to know that this is a general reading for Leo in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if it doesn't resonate, maybe check out your moon sign, okay? So I'm looking for your comments. Make sure you shoot me a comment. You can type out LMG in the comments for me. That would be awesome. And remember to subscribe, guys. So <clears throat> anyway, disclaimers on a wrap, and we'll just jump right into your reading. We'll see what my spirit guides have to say for you guys for mid-January 2022. Now, I'm just being guided to do a deck cut and show you guys the cut. Okay, so what's going on here? Ooh, ooh, this is fabulous. Okay, so it's like, all right, this is, seems a little bit, what is the word I'm looking for? Not oxymoron, but like coming out of your shell a little bit. Like if there's anything that you've had left in reserve that you have been saving for another occasion, maybe you're just waking up to the fact that you are in fact the occasion. So uh, everything about you is about to burst forward. We do have the Ace of Cups here and you can see there's this beautiful flower. Uh, there is a gift coming in and the gift is actually going to be recognizing <clears throat> a pattern of negative self-talk that has been holding you back, okay? So it's like you're gonna be set free from some whatever burden that you have been carrying and just embracing life like to the fullest, to the maximum. I'm just gonna write something down, one moment. So basically a really good card saying that you're going to uh, be rid of any self-doubt. Uh, for some of you, it could be like a self-loathing, like not being able to forgive yourself for something that happened in the past. So this is going to be a really interesting period of time for you where you realize that you are super unstoppable. Okay, so this is going to be a really good energy for you guys coming in with that Ace of Cups. Um, and then we do have the Four of Wands here for you guys. So, sorry, Three of Wands. Yeah, Three of Wands. Okay, I'll just stop staring like a donkey and we'll continue on with the reading. Sorry, guys. So three of wands. Okay, so all this hard work that you guys have done on yourself, it's going to be like that moment where you just crack yourself open. Okay, so there could be a stark realization of all these negative patterns that have gone before you. And it's all going to be put in the background. You're just going to look at it as like, oh, well, that happened. Okay, and here I am now. And I'm ready for the le next leg of my journey. And to move forward um, unencumbered. Okay, so this is going to be absolutely pivotal for you, Leo. Because it's going to be like... You know, launching a boat, but you're still tied to the dock so that you're giving everything that you've got, but you're still stuck back there. And then somebody's just going to cut the cord. OK, so you guys can fly. Um, this is a very interesting energy for you guys. So I'm going to pull another card here for you. Um, wow, this has just been going through every single every single reading. I do have the sun card here. Um, Here's some words that I'm getting, which is really interesting, uh, getting from my guides here. If you guys have any sort of um, negative behavior, uh, you know what I'm talking about, overeating, over shopping, blah, 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 whatever it is that you're doing that is not helpful to your mind or your body, um, your spirituality. Um, this is what I'm getting here, is that it's time to drop any of those things, which is probably going to happen here for you. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, but if you guys have any sort of residual low-lying energy or whatever those bad habits are, it might be time to really, like, cut them off. Just get rid of them because I'm getting the words here, why should the universe treat you any better than you are treating yourself, okay? So you really want to let that soak in. Um, there are some really indulgent behaviors available to all of us. So what is doing you good? What is doing your body good? What is doing your brain good? All of this, okay? So it's time to sort of 
separate yourself out. And this could really amplify this feeling of being super connected to everything positive in your life here too, okay? And this could be something that you have had to overcome maybe with the help of some friends or whatever, whatever you've had to go through. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there to get addicted to, right? You know, so you might need a little bit help, a little bit of help to push past that. But the Sun card is always very strong for Leo because uh, nobody thrives in a sunbeam more than a, a cat. And you guys are the biggest cat, the king of the jungle cat, okay? So we do have the High Priestess here for you. And again, this is a feeling of being absolutely un untethered, okay? I'm just gonna grab a book here. Hold on for a second, you guys. Okay, so here's the High Priestess card. And this is really interesting what I'm getting here. Um, the high priestess, they're saying moon goddess is the first couple of words here. So what I'm getting here as an interpretation from my guides is that it might be time for you guys to really align with your moon sign. Okay. Um, there could be some healing that needs to happen through the aspects of your moon sign. So whatever that is for you. I use this site called Cafe Astrology, you guys, to figure out charts. So uh, you guys can head there too if, you, if you're a little bit like, you know, I don't know what my moon sign is. Deep knowledge intuition, foresight, intelligence, enlightenment, understanding, and something else that is too small to read. Wisdom. Okay, so the high priestess is really in tune with herself. She's sort of detached from everything else. So you can really see this as being um, broken free from old patterns, um, just really connecting with who you are. And when you have those feelings, everything should start happening for you. But I think one of the most important things that is coming through here for you guys with the sun card is that statement that I heard from one of my guides, like, why would the universe treat you any better than you treat yourself? So you might want to do a bit of an exercise, okay? And write things down and just be super honest with yourself right now. Like, what do I no longer want to do in my life? Am I on social media too much? You know, am I too grumpy? You know, do I help people too much to my own detriment? Again, and all these other activities that are so widespread and available. Just really look at it honestly, because this is where you can just sort of shed all of that and come out like really ready to receive the love and abundance and the peace and the blessings that the universe has to offer you with the Ace of Cups. So a little bit of homework for you, Leo, <laughs> but I hope it helps. Okay, so take care. Bye.